Hey friends, what's up? Welcome to today's Get Ready With Me with my mom. Hello. As requested, this is another Mama Sheena video and we doing that Christmas sleigh, y'all. Absolutely. So we decided that for this video, it would be a really cool idea if one of us filmed with the new Morphe palette, the 3502, which is extremely, extremely pigmented. I can't even get it open because I got it turned up the wrong side. Okay. All right. It's extremely pigmented. And these are the colors right here, like really orange and stuff, which I'm sure you guys have seen it all over YouTube. And one of us filmed with the old Morphe 350 palette, which is not as extremely pigmented because I like a softer hue. Right. So if you got the 350, you're going to be able to recreate this look very easily. It's very glam, but subtle. Very appropriate for people who are in their... 40s 50s. and 50s who I'm want to wear lighter say, makeup. 52 and counting. Or people who are younger who just don't get into this type of makeup. Some people think this is too much, so you're going to be able to go with a more softer holiday look. And with this palette, I was able to create this very fiery, bold, dramatic Sheena look. We just yes. put some Sheena on it because yes. most people wouldn't sit down with a palette and be like, this is what I'm going to do today. Very red. So, um, do you like that 350 palette? How do you feel about that palette? I absolutely love the 350 palette. I do because I like the colors. I'm a very neutral toned fall kind of color. Um, but it was kind of, it gave me a run for my money trying to do a holiday glam look with like oranges and browns. So I tried to stick with the browns and the golds that were in the palette. But I actually think I pulled it off. But it's very buttery. It's very good. The pigment is not as bright, but that's what I love about it for me. Right. So, whereas with the 3502, you do have those orange colors, but this is like an orange fiery kind of red, so I feel like it was easier to get a Christmas look and there's like a true gold in there, which I did use some of this Perfusions um metallic pigment because it was like a pinky kind of rose gold, so it got like two different golds going mm -hmm. on depending on how you catch it in the light. Mm -hmm. But also, I am a big person of pigment. And this is giving that to me. This yeah, is she just is not afraid of color. Boom. Y'all know. I mean, you actually got to be careful. You dip into this. I mean, this was a Q-tip that I dipped in there one time. And, I mean, look at my brush. Yeah. Poor brush, you know. So, if you are afraid of that, like, bam in your face, then you're going to go with the 350. Yeah. And as you guys know, Morphe does have the 350 shimmer and all mattes palette. And then, of course, they came out with the 3502 and the 39A holiday palette, which I do have a get ready with uh, me and Sheena. I have a video up using that palette, but I can do a separate tutorial if you guys would like a more in-depth tutorial, like talking about the colors and me, talking about how it's blending and things like that, since that was a get ready with me. And I can do the same thing with this palette, a separate tutorial if you guys want to see it. If you don't, let me know that too. Okay, so anyways, without further ado, let's get into this holiday sleigh video. I know it seems crazy to put oil on when you're an oily person. No, but some people don't realize that just because you're oily doesn't mean you give up moisturizing. You still have to moisturize. And I have all kinds of skin issues. I have dry skin, oily skin. I have texture very textured skin. I've got hyperpigmentation. So I'm covering all of it up. That's all I got to go. Have you tried the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder that everybody be setting their face with now? Mm -hmm. Setting their under eyes with? Because it's, no. well, Maybelline obviously is a drugstore brand, but everybody says that their under eyes with this powder be it. Like, I guess some people don't use anything else now, like it's their holy grail powder. And imagine that is drugstore. No. But people be hating like drugstore ain't good. And there are, I'm not saying everything from a drugstore is good, but there mm -hmm. are products from a drugstore that are good and people be sleeping on it because they think only high-end products are good. Well, that's you know? not true. No. That's... I mean, if you're a freelance makeup artist, you don't show up with some Maybelline powder. That's different. You want to show up Yeah, people be looking with, at you like, I could have just bought my own. Right, you want to show up with high-end products for stuff like that, but like on a day-to-day -day basis, like just doing your makeup or mm -hmm. for YouTube and stuff like that, People sometimes, they don't, listen, give the drugstore a chance. Don't sleep on it? No. So as you guys know, we're doing our holiday sleigh. Yes, we are. And I'm using my primer. After I use my oil, I don't know. 
Oh, so you, you put all that stuff on to like let it start working into yeah, your skin. Yeah, it's got to work. Well, I think I will go ahead and do something a little bit different today and put my beauty oil on and let that I really work have itself to, in. Yeah, I have to let this stuff marinate. Marinate. Mm. Um, can we just talk about how crusty my lips are? I put that mask on. Is your lip if you didn't crust there? Just ask. I put that lip mask on and it's still. And look, my lips are stained from that cat money. <laughs> it won't come off. I got all types of issues going on right now with my lips. You hear? I'm thinking I got problems. No, my lips is crust to the T. As you guys know, I'm using the Morphe 3502. And as you guys know, I'm using the original Morphe 350. I got a question. Do you do you hate these? I do hate those. I would love for the names to be printed actually on the palette. Because so as you can see, mine is gone. I don't have that little paper. I don't know where it's at. Hmm? Hmm. That's not the 3502. What is this? That's not the 3502. This is the only Morphe palette that's I got. It's the 35W. You got it. You got another Morphe palette. That's that's the that's that's, <laughs> the, that's, that's the thirty-five war. <laughs> well, to be continued. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yep, we're back. We're back. Sorry, <laughs> Fox. <laughs> no. So I will be filming with the three five oh two. I'm filming with the 350. What are you filming with? 350. Not the 35W? No, no. I don't know what that is. Yeah. Nope. So I just want to show you guys some comparisons really quickly. I'm sure you guys have seen this palette way too many times and that one as well. But as you guys can see, the 3502 looks more pigmented than the 350. Like... Even if you look at it, look at these oranges. Yeah. You get more orange, yeah, red tones in there. You do. As you guys know, as you guys know, I did not like the 350. I didn't get the height. I wasn't about that life, but that's because I like a lot of pigment. And for my mom, she was like, I'm good with I that. I love this palette. Love right. it, love it, love it, love it. So. We're going to create some Christmas holiday looks for y'all. We're going to try to make holiday looks with fall palettes. That's going to be interesting. Because to me, this is truly a fall palette. So yeah, yeah. I got to figure out how I but can you pull off a holiday look. She has some rose gold. You got some, and some exactly. bronze. So I am definitely going to lean gold. more towards the gold to get that holiday glam. Right. Um. Anyways, what I was saying about this is like, to me, this is so cheap. If you had just taken the time to print yes. them right underneath the shadows, I would have appreciated that a little bit more. I mean, also... This is garbage for me. I love Morphe. I do. But also, given the fact that you didn't print the names on there, could you at least give us a mirror? No. No mirror. I mean, no. since we don't have a mirror, it would have been nice to have the names printed. But that's neither here nor there. Everybody who buys Morphe, you already know what you're getting. You already it's know like that. A, you know, stick it up here like this. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. I mean, the shadows... I'll wait the fact that the names aren't printed. It'd just be nice if they were. Now, the 3502, uh, it seems like the quality of the shadows are like the Jaclyn Hill palette or the 39A palette. Um, I think the older Morphe palettes are a little more on the chalky side. Not, And I'm, I'm not saying that that's bad. I'm just saying that they're a little more hardly pressed, if that makes sense, where these ones seem a little more buttery, a little more soft, and a little more blendable. But... You guys know for me, that's neither here nor there. I will work with what I got. Um, and it is still an affordable brand. So don't come for me because there are so many people that hate, hate Morphe. If you hate Morphe, this is not the video for you to be watching. No, it's not. I'm not getting ready to advertise a code or anything. Morphe does not know who I am. I don't have an affiliate code. I'm just simply trying out this palette for you guys. And we're going to show you the looks that you can get, whether you have the 350 or the 3502. Sounds like a plan. I'm getting ready to use this for my mirror. Oh, so you're using the golden sugar one today. I am. With the rose gold one. Yes, I am. And then, so you guys seen in my haul video, I talked about this. This is that Paris Hilton glow kit. It's that ish. Like, if you find one of these at Burlington Marshall's Target, snatch it up because it's super pigmented. Well, my mom, the other day, she went back and she found the Dawn Pro glow kit. I can't talk. The glow kit. I'm too excited. And this one looks like this. And I promise you guys, $4.99 too. That's a steal. These are dupes for the Anastasia. 
Anastasia Glow Kids. Well, let me get in the front. There you go. It's just beautiful. So don't these to you look the same? Oh, wow. I mean, different color. Yeah. But yeah. So you got that one. And then, I mean, this is a bigger one, but the the layout and everything really reminds me of that. Oh, and by the way, I would like to give to you my um, sun dips that you have been wanting. Um, yes. I used it when I first got it, obviously, a lot because it was the only Anastasia Glow Kit I had. But um, it has since become my least favorite because... Why? Well, here. here you Thank go. you. That's for you. See, I told you, anytime I get something good, that's where it comes from. Because I have this one. And when I'm doing freelance, I can use this one on someone who's really pale. Right. So I get a lot of oh, use. Oh, your vanilla sisters. Yes, I get a lot of use out of this one. Oh, this is so pretty. And then, you know, you. Mm -hmm, I have the Nicole Girl one, which I've been putting a dent in. Mm -hmm. I've got the Moon Child one, which I put a dent in. And just recently, y'all didn't know, but I got a Aurora. You got a Aurora? Yeah, because. Ooh. That's cool. Oh, wow. Right. Because blue. the glow kits went on sale for $25. Girl. So I got it. Better get you some. Right. So I don't like that. All right. Anymore. So we're going to get into this video and see what kind of holiday glam looks we can create with the fall palette. Mm hmm. Yeah. So what's going on in your world, Sheena? Oh, you know. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Just just life. Just living real, life. Real busy and you everything. Living the dream. <laughs> But yeah, me too. Dream, dream, dream working. <laughs> yeah. So I just want to know. What do you want to know? <laughs> so I just want to know. <laughs> it's not like don't get me started. Yeah, because I busted out. Um, what is your favorite high end makeup brand and why? Not like I don't mean like cosmetic product. I mean favorite high end cosmetic. Line. Well, I'm going to choose Too Faced. And I like it because it's really pigmented. And I the like Sweet it Peach. Because the Sweet Peach is amazing. I also have the Heat. But I seriously... The Urban Decay. Yep, Urban Decay. So you, you I've like, got a couple. You like your Too Faced in. better than your Anastasia. I do. Okay. I That's do. Fair. You know why I do? Because it is fall. And I love fall. Now, don't get me wrong. I love my Anastasia because it's got berry colors in it. And, you know, every girl needs a good berry color every now and then, especially if I'm wearing burgundy or wine. I like it. But I'm such a fall person. I love orange and browns and neutrals, like tans and taupes and golds. So I'm going to have to say it's going to be my sweet peach. And plus it smells amazing. And it's buttery. It goes on so easy. And I know, I feel like I make this, I create the same look every time I use it. <laughs> Although, I try to mix it up. But it's easy to to do that when you're using a lot of orange. So what is your favorite drugstore brand and why? My favorite drugstore? Eyeshadow, I mean. You said Morphe counts as drugstore, so it it's, does. it's this Morphe palette. Okay. Why? Because it's still the fall colors. I truly just love the fall colors. I'm a sucker for brown every time. Any kind of brown, taupe, tan, gold, that's, that's my stuff. And if I weren't trying to match my makeup to like an outfit, which they say you should never do, but sometimes if I'm wearing um, burgundy, I don't want orange eyes. So I will go to um, a different palette, but for the most part, I really just like fall colors. I've always just wondered like, you know, for you, what, what eyeshadow brand, you know, you really, really, really liked. So you, would tend to buy more from that brand because you really like it. Well, there's other brands that I'm dying to try. I just got to get there. I'm not there yet. Um, I'd like to try some stuff from... What is the name of that woman? Natasha Denona? Mm -mm, no, her stuff is too expensive. That, that her eyeshadows, hands down, are the best eyeshadows ever. That's what I heard, but I can't afford her. Um... What was it that I was looking for? I was looking for it at Sephora. Are you cut creasing? Because you know I can't do that. Mm -mm. No? No. I am 
doing a halo eye or a spotlight eye, whatever you want to call it, but it's going to be very blown out, not even connecting the center there. Do you want to be a snowman? It's beginning to look a lot like <laughs> Whatever. I asked you if you wanted to build a snowman. It's beginning to look a lot like a mess over here. Oh, come on now. This is supposed to be our glam, our Christmas sleigh. You can't be messing it. You have to be slaying it. understand that. But me and this red is over here fighting. What you got there? This <laughs> <laughs> perfusion is something that I'm going to start on the yellow thing because I should have opened it before I got started. I'm sorry, I'm just click clacking. I'll be click clacking too. You got to get your to stuff open. Clickety clack. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. So, how many of you out there, I know a bazillion people have, but I'm going to ask anyway, tried the Fenty Beauty and then like it? Do you like it or do you hate it? Because I, I feel like either you love it or you don't. I, don't. I don't think there's a middle ground from all the videos I've watched about it. Either you really, really, absolutely love it. It is the bomb.com. Um, do they still say that? Um, well, whatever. It's, it's really good or you absolutely hate it. It doesn't work for you. Um, reply in the comments below. I want to know who loves it and who does it and why. Me personally, I love it. I have had the hardest time finding foundation that works for my skin and does what I need it to do. Amen. And this actually does a pretty good job. Now, you got to work. You can be chit-chit-chatting because it dry up on you quick. You got to get in there. I love but, it to you. It's just I really got to moisturize because it ain't no joke. No, and that's why I like it because I have that horrible, well, not horrible. I won't say my skin's horrible. I got the good skin God gave me. But it's just dry. I mean, just oily. So this dries me up nicely. And in the summer... How you saw me put that oil on in the summer i don't do that because in the summer i don't need it but winter months i i need something before i put on the printy because the printy will it's really good to have you I'm here filming kind of like explaining that foundation because coming from somebody with really dry skin i can't explain how much it, it has helped oily skin people like if you have oily skin i can't explain that because my skin is super dry mm -hmm. can i get a makeup oil? <laughs> you, wait, wait, hold on. Hold on. You need a what? A makeup wipe, please. I don't have any hold right now. Oh, but but you said you didn't use makeup wipes anymore. No, I what a towel. You, yeah, that's what you told me. And I said, oh, okay, we're not using makeup wipes no more. Y'all better be in bougie. Well, if there's one in, in the area, then I'll use it. If somebody buy me a pack, then I use it. I'm just not going to buy them. I'm cheap. <laughs> okay, cheapy peepy. You <laughs> You're not gonna be using mine all up. Cause you cheap. <laughs> Y'all hear that? Trying to save the environment by not. Oh, so you're just gonna let me be the bad person. <laughs> let me kill off the world. <clears throat> I'll see you. Now see, this is the part that drives me insane. Trying to get this makeup. On this hairline mm -hmm, without getting it in your hair because that's just not that's not attractive by any stretch of the imagination is that a new highlight that just gives you 2018 that just give you clown makeup look and you know i know that's a good look for some people they like that i'm 52 years old clown is not gonna be part of my <laughs> makeup routine you're not doing the clown i can't do the clown do the clown no <laughs> no i shall not and you won't either, because you know you're scared. Oh, yeah, well. <laughs> Fenty, you got the, you got to work. Because if you don't, hmm, your stuff going to be dried up on your face. In one spot. We have all here talking to you. I got to go. <laughs> I got to get it. You got to take an intermission like I had to. Well, I, I can talk, but I got to keep patting. And I know, you all know, about these real technique sponges, but aren't they just the softest sponge ever? Yeah, they bomb, man. Some people don't get down with them. And I know Sephora has a beauty blender. I've That's what I got. It. I got a beauty blender. Yeah, I've not tried that, but I really do appreciate this real technique sponge. I mean, it's just, it's super, super soft. 
It's giving you life. It is. It's helping me get my life. <laughs> and for those of you older women like myself, if you have those smile lines, creases right at your mouth, and you're trying to get your makeup in there, and you can't get in there, you like to put your tongue in there. Straighten out that, that little crease. Get your makeup in there. It's a nice little trick. See? Let's get it in there. And work it out. Let's get into my little contouring. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's not funny. She almost fell off that stair, y'all. She going down. Yeah, that you was going I down. I wasn't about to be around. I ain't going to let you down. I know. Baby. I'll save you. Okay, can we just talk about this perfusions pen for a second? No, because I don't have one, and if it's all that, I'm about wow. to take yours. Wow, this is the bomb. Yeah, she gonna give me that. This no. is gliding on like freaking butter. I want another one. I'll give me one. Like, what? And no, I did not bring my contour palette because I don't want my contour palette. I would tell y'all what I'm contouring with, but I'm not going to. No. <laughs> I am actually contouring with, yes, eyeshadow, and I've hit pan. Oh, Lord, I'm not so hard on it. Oh, oh, oh. Shut up, shut up. Oh, oh y'all. Yeah, I spilled it on my white desk. I like, see. you've never spilled anything in my house before. Whatever. Anyway, I love this shadow for that. I don't know why. It works, and I know that looks harsh right now. We're gonna blend that out, but I love the show. It works. Sound like you were advertising for it works. It works. Y'all, she a it works sales rep. She trying to get y'all to get that stuff. It don't work though. <laughs> okay. All right. You gonna get some coal? I'm playing. No, no, you ain't playing. You were serious. Have you heard about that coal? No, my mom's a nurse, y'all. She don't. <laughs> she don't work for it works. <laughs> <laughs> And yes, I contour under my neck because my neck is fat. My neck. My, my back. back. Okay. <laughs> I, don't know why. I don't know why I started that. That song is inappropriate, y'all. We're going to keep it moving. Oh, well, I didn't help. I jumped right on in. Yeah, I jumped right on. Because well, you know, the dirty I'm, I'm your ride right or die, regardless. Right, wrong, or indifferent. I'm your ride or die. I'm so you want to sing about and neck and back, I'll sing it with you. And crack. I'm not. <laughs> That's I draw the line at the crack. All right. Yep. There'll be no crackage. All right. That came out real wrong. Because you're nasty. Mm -hmm. This is not the brush I want, Tashina. Hmm. I didn't. This is not it. This is so not my friend. The... But it's going to be my friend today. This is not my brush that I want. You brought that brush, though. Mm, yeah, well. It's not the one I want for blending this out, but I'm going to squeeze it together and make it work. Oh my life. I had to Shut up. <laughs> you ain't never fought. Well, no, she, she used to fight a lot, actually. Oh, okay. But, you ain't got to <laughs> tell people about that. Yeah, she was rough. Mm. But, you know, a little prayer, a little guidance. She all right. Trying to make it seem like I, I'm a heathen or something. Like, back in the day, like, nah. Like, I was like some type of hoodlum. Just out there fighting in these streets. You know you was out there. <laughs> No, she just didn't then and still don't now take no mess. The truth and is, she was, I'm from the hood, you guys. We, did not li <laughs> we lived in the corner of Cleveland. <laughs> oh, she is so lying. I mean, not that there is anything wrong with that, but we did not. I'm just playing. Okay. I'm calling your father. Please don't. Oh, I'm calling him. You're, You're going to get it. You don't need to tell him. I'm telling him. He worked like a dog to make sure you didn't live in the hood. I'm telling him that you said you did. I'm just playing, y'all. Don't want nobody believe me anyways. Look at how I sound. <laughs> Ain't nobody afraid of me. Till they meet me. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Oh, she can take her pills. Everybody got to run. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 we're not getting ready to do that train either. Oh, the train? We on the train? So we're going to stop right here. Because I tell you. I tell you, believe me when I say, if I keep messing with this, 
It's not going to end well for me. It's not going to be a problem. You don't want no problem, with no problem with me. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? That's Chance the Rapper. Because I'm not the one you want. <laughs> I'm not what you want. I'm not what you want. Did he say ha ha ha? Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right then. So, um, Katie tried to play me on this. On oh, what? You will see. Kitty cat. Just hear those sleigh bells tingling, ting, ting, tingling too. Come on, it's lovely, wonderful, I sleigh right together with you. <laughs> Outside the snow is falling and friends are calling you. Come on, it's lovely, wonderful, I sleigh right together with you. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, let's go, let's look at the show. We're riding in the wonderland of snow. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, it's grand, just hold your hand. This is like truly one of our favorite um, Christmas songs. Yeah, Katie tried to just turn off so, so you know. I ain't trying to get back, but um, oh, I just gave my phone down. Oh, Katie, oh. Katie tried to play me at work, like, because I told her it was the best version of Slave Ride ever. Jim Neighbors. It is, and you guys know he passed away, right? I think it was like 87 or something. I was heartbroken. That's yeah, my dude. And Katie Seriously. Was, like, laughing at me. She said, You will not. We will too. I told you, Kate. He is my dude for Christmas. Yeah. Gomer Pyle, Mayberry RFD. Okay, you done took it. Way That's too who he was. Him and Andy and Gomer and Aunt B and Opie I understand. and Bernie Fife and Thelma Lou. Girl, you, what have you been doing with your life? Okay. Get some. I'm clearly getting some <laughs> right now. <laughs> but I hated the Andy Griffith show. Oh, hate is a very strong word. Especially to be using when you're talking about Andy. I thought it was so boring. I loved it. Apparently, okay. I just need to move on. Okay. Yeah, I had to move on. I had to leave that um, lash alone. I'll be moving on. Uh, Maya. <laughs> don't act like you think I don't know. Well, but you keep asking me about these songs, so... And then you said there really is a song where every day gets there. Mm -hmm. What have you done? What have you done? <laughs> wait, wait, you know, wait, 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 let me help you. Let me help you. Let me help you. Let me help you. Turn around. Turn around. Let me help you. It's in my freaking... Okay, all right. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. It's going to be fine. Where's that little pencil? Just don't worry about it. Just let me help you. Just gonna put some black on there and it's gonna be fine. Okay, let me get my foundation back up because I had to work hard to get that out. All right, there okay. you go. Thank you. Now, calm yourself and go a little slow. You already just dotting, dotting any kind of way. And that's what you get. It got in my hair just, and I went to just, pull the hair, just, the baby hairs down. that just want to do what they want. I know, they always do. Just start somewhere else. Go back to that. Yeah, they still fall. And my brow still jacked up. I keep on falling. You know what? The baby hairs keep on falling. Yeah, um, no. Alicia Keys, girl, you know you got them pipes. I don't. I was just playing, for real. <laughs> <laughs> so I stopped real quick. I'm sorry, I put my nose ring back in. I'm not picking. See? Nose ring. Um, but you do pick your nose, though. Who picks their nose? <laughs> Who? Why are you being nasty? <laughs> I've picked your nose. That's getting it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're getting. You started it. Plus, you guys have. Plus, I love filming with her. She's such a nut. Been asking for more she and mom videos, so you're getting them. Cause she she crazy. She's so, so crazy. But that's my baby. I yeah, y'all didn't need it. I know. You have a song for everything. But my know. songs are made up. They just be coming off the cuff, off the dome, you know, off the piece. <laughs> Straight off the brain. 
Right, right. Fresh off the brain. Right. Insane in it. Wow. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to tear it up. I'm going to highlight like I always do. And there are so many people that hate on me about I wear too much highlight. Girl, wear what you want. This is your life, your face, and everything else that right. goes with it. You ain't got but one life. Live it to the best of your ability. Do what you want to do that makes you happy. And if anybody don't like it, feel free to exit. Well, and that's kind of how it's what it is. Like. You don't have to be here. I mean, we're not like being mean or nothing, but haters gonna hate. And if you come in being mean, you could just go. Haters, they gonna hate. And they gonna, gonna fall. They gonna fall. Shot callers, they gonna go. Where the players go? Um, yeah. Oh. But that ain't got nothing to do with me and you. Right. That's the way it is. <laughs> oh, that's right. But yeah, I'm just, I'm just me. I'm just out here. I'm just living life. <laughs> and you live it. And if you want to wear a highlighter all across your whole face, that's your business. How you look? You don't have to answer to nobody but God. Well, let's not even go there because you remember that girl said in the comments. Yeah, she was stupid. I'm sorry. I don't normally special. call people that, and I know it's not right, but she I'm just not, really was not. I don't know what was going on with her. I kind of brought this up on my channel. She wasn't so too tight in the brain. A lot of you guys probably don't even what know what she was saying. Right, what we're talking about. And as a parent, it ticked me off. Somebody so, left me a comment basically that. I mean, if you got kids in the room, please have them exit real quick and then bring them back. But she said I look like a prostitute. Yeah, seriously. And I wear too my much child? makeup and that I'm a horrible mom. What type if of that's the example that you set with your makeup. Right. And wow. to other uh, people who look up to me and Sorry, I need to get right with like God. and Because, like, know. just from the makeup on my face, you can tell if I have a personal relationship with God or not. Seriously? Take so, three steps back. Five seats in the back to the left because you don't know what you're talking about. So I commented back because I didn't start like any, I wasn't getting into an argument. I actually kind of yeah. just laughed that off because I do have a relationship with God, not that yeah, that's anybody's business. It's not. And so I posted the song, My God is an Awesome God. Yes, he and, is. Yes, he is. Um, she basically came back like, um, I need to reevaluate my relationship with God and I need to like read the Bible and stuff because and I'm a life. sinner and all this other stuff. And I, I made a joke to a friend, which probably instigated the situation more. And I said, yeah, girl, because God is totally angry with me today because he was like, oh, you know, that's Sheena. She got way too much highlighter. And I mean, I was, he don't have better things to do. Right. I was trying to make light of the situation because it really wasn't that serious. But then when she came for me, about my parenting, that's when I got mad. And, and that's, when, I got that's mad. when she was blocked and um, removed from my YouTube. I mean, we all feel how we feel. Maybe somebody thinks I do wear too much makeup, but this is my choice. It's my channel. And it's your face. It's yeah, your life. I it's mean, your money. It's your everything. To me, makeup is art. It's fun. I love it. I have a lot of fun putting it on. And if it's not for you, that's fine. But you don't have to be mean. nasty comments like that. And yeah, just, you don't have to be so judgmental. You don't know anything about a person just because of the makeup they wear. Right. That was ridiculous to even assume anything from a makeup look. She just took it way, way too, too far. far. And like I said, so, you know, if somebody doesn't like something, then don't watch it, you know? Yeah. I am not trying to steal what Manny says on his channel, but it is true. Don't effing watch it. Like, if it's going to have you set off and have your whole day messed up. Because that, to me, is just so silly. I mean, there is nobody that I watch here on YouTube and get all mad and think to myself, i got to leave a nasty comment because that was horrible. Like, of course, we're not going to like every single thing that everybody does. Right. And so I keep it moving. I don't even thumbs down the video. I just keep it moving. And yes, I'm here to support on, people. And out here on social media, you do put yourself out there. So you are kind of, you have, you leave yourself open you, to it's people like with nasty for, comments. But, but seriously, get a life. You don't right. have anything else to do except troll. Exactly. So... I mean, I never brought it up because it wasn't like a big deal, you guys. And I don't, you don't got to feel bad for me. She ain't got some thick skin. And a whole lot of support. Right. I mean, like I said, you like what you like. You do what you do. Yeah. But just to each their own. You just don't. That's Kenny, the furnace yeah. guy. Time out.
but anyways, like I was saying, we we do put ourselves out there and stuff yeah. like that, but you oh, know, it's goodness. just you you don't really have does the world to, have to be so nasty, right? And does everybody have to be so sensitive? And I think everything is directed towards them and get so butthurt about everything. Like YouTubers are humans too, and we say and do things just like everybody else, but it's just like, it seems like if somebody says or does something on social media, oh my goodness, like, it's a crime, you're a sinner, and it's it's just not yeah, that serious. Yeah, don't judge my personal relationship with God from what you see on YouTube. Right. Especially if it's just me putting on some makeup, for real. And you know what, I do have to rewind. I gotta take a step back and apologize because I called that girl stupid, and that wasn't right. But you came for my kid, and I'm sorry. Don't come for mine. Because I will definitely come for you. And, and that's where that comment came from. So I do apologize to the little girl, whoever you was. I, I, you're not stupid. I don't even know you to know that you're stupid. you you probably, you know, a genius or something. I don't know. But don't come for mine. Just don't do it. It's not going to end well for you. But yeah, I just wish that people would work on being better people in the world so the world could be a better place. We have so many issues already. Right. That, like, you want... When YouTube started, YouTube was just supposed to be a place where people could come and get ideas and right. DIYs and tutorials Absolutely. and a place to connect with other people mm -hmm. and kind of feel a part of something. Yes. And, you know, there's going to be people out there that have to make things difficult and have to make things more than what they are, but it just mm -hmm. shouldn't be a nasty place. And the beauty community is really just, the beauty community rough. is rough. <laughs> my word, it's Ooh, so rough. Lord have mercy, it's rough. But, I mean, my first experience with YouTube um, was in 2014, not even that, not that long ago, because I decided to go natural. And so, um, my experience was looking up hair stuff. And by that, following that trend of um, just trying to find the best products or the best natural things for my hair and what I should do when I first go natural because my hair was so dry and I couldn't figure out, you know, what I need to do to get rid of that. It spilled over into beauty. And so then I started seeing all this makeup and all this stuff. And of course I wear makeup. I know how to wear makeup, but there are so many tricks and so many tips and so many different brands of this to use and that to use that I wouldn't otherwise have known about that I've used. And it turned out to be really great. So that's what I look for, for a place to just find information and, and bounce ideas back and forth. Because if you comment in the comments of, of something you don't know about or you can't find or, you know, help me out, somebody will answer. And so that was what I liked about it. But it can be nasty, too. Yep. YouTube shit is supposed to be a, a helpful place. And, it's just and it is. It's just a shame that there's people out there that aren't helpful. They just want to tear somebody down. All right. I mean, so. you don't have to watch every single tutorial and every single person that's on YouTube. There's nobody's telling you that you have to do that, you know? So, mm -hmm. that's what I don't get when people are being so unkind. Well, that sounds so, when people aren't happy in their lives. I challenge everybody for 2018 to just do something kind. Even if it's just, just a week. Just be a little bit nicer. A nice comment to someone or be like, hey, you know what? I like your hair today. Yeah. But try to be kind. Because the world needs that. You never know what somebody's going through, man. And you could just say something that just sets somebody off. You just just be careful. Or Seriously. you could be the one person that says something to them that was kind that may stop them from doing something horrible. Yeah. So you could it could go either way. You could be the person that pushes them or you could be the person that pulls them back. For 2018, let's work on being the people that pulls them back. Mm -hmm. Let's just try to help each other. I've been in that dark place, so. Yeah. I know what that feels like, and it's real. Depression is real. Anxiety is real. You know, people's dark mental state, that's real. And you could be living a really good life, because like I said, I, I have a good life, but sometimes people just, they go to a place in their mind, and they don't feel like they're going to come out of it. Mm -hmm. So keep that in mind. Absolutely. All right, you guys, so these are the completed holiday looks. I'm over the top right now, and my mom is actually more age-appropriate holiday, so that's good if I have some older people that watch my channel, which I know I do. Thank y'all. This is a look that you could do very easily. Now, if you're like me and you're full of that drama, not life drama, 
makeup drama, then you would probably do a look that is a little more out there, a little more high glam, a little more red. <laughs> <laughs> Scaring myself with this red hair, this red lip, and these red eyes. My goodness. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this Get Ready With Us, this Christmas sleigh. And I would like to thank my mom for coming back on Absolutely. my channel. Absolutely. Love being here. And filming with me. Absolutely love being here. <laughs> So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, please, because it helps me out so much. Help your girl get out there. Spread the love. Everybody yes. needs a little bit of Sheena in their life. There you go. <laughs> Share this video. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, especially if you're new, because you don't want to miss out on any more awesome videos, because I have so much coming before the year is about to end. Mm -hmm. Y'all know there's a giveaway coming. There's a giveaway. And my mom is probably going to help me with that. Absolutely. All right. And also hit your bell notification, because... I told y'all, YouTube be funny about letting you know when your favorite YouTuber has uploaded. If you hit the bell, you will always be notified. And, and don't forget to put a smile on your face. Because it's truly the best makeup that you can wear. And we'll see you guys on our next video. Bye. Bye. Santa, baby. Just slip a present. Actually, you know tree. what? That probably wasn't Love that me. bad. It wasn't that good, but it probably wasn't that bad, actually. <laughs> I'm going to give myself some credit, even though ain't nobody else going to give me that. <laughs> Do not hit your parental unit. No, I won't go down to oh. you with you. Get that <laughs> this stool is going to kill me. Yep, you're going down. See, that's why. Because you hit me. That's what happens. You know, when, I, when, when you I, strike your mother, bad things happen. It's cool. On Christmas, I'm about to come over with some glitter and be like, just sprinkle no glitter on me. But you see how I'm doing it. No, that's what I'm going to do. That don't look right. <laughs> <laughs> so you got to do a shake, 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 shake your primer, shake your primer. Why are you gonna shake my booty? It's actually shaking my booty. You gotta edit that up. Why? <laughs> I don't want my kid shaking her boobies for the internet. <laughs> Somehow that doesn't sound right. But somehow my hair ain't active right. <laughs> oh, we're doing my hair now? <laughs> I had to fix it. I need a comb. They hey, were Jess. they were coming out. So uh yeah, without further ado, let's get into the uh what? Let's get into this holiday sleigh video. Hold on. <laughs> That's gotta Is go. that gonna be a blooper? Yeah, probably. Bloop to do. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. We're glitter fella, just gonna fill it in. <laughs> I like it. Alright, let me zoom this up. I like it like that. Mm. I like the way she do it right there. Move your hips when you're walking like that in your heart. Jingle bell, 